In this section of uh, on expressions, we're going to cover um, a simple example of um, using gears. And I want to go over to Modeler first. Let's um, go to this uh, on the, under Create. There's a little button here for gear. The default is um, to create a gear on the, uh, the z-axis, uh, 16 teeth, um, inner radius 1 meter, outer radius 1.1 meter like that. I'm going to go to layer 2 as a background layer, hit apostrophe to switch layers. And I'm going to create another gear. And this time I'm going to do it 8 teeth, um, 0.5, basically half the diameter of this, 0.55 diameter. And uh, there we go. I'm going to actually, let's um, give it a little bit deeper. Um, outer radius. Let's go 0.75. Nope, too much. Let's go 0.6. Yeah, that's a little better right there. And uh, I'm going to move this one out to the right here. Just right here so it sort of meshes up with that one there like that. And uh, I'm going to change the pivot on this one to here. And that looks good there. The first the first layer is going to be fine because it's going to be pivoting from the origin. I'm going to go to layer 1 and let's go to layer settings. I'm going to call this uh, first layer uh, large gear and the second layer I'm going to call it small gear and I'm not going to parent one to the other but I'm going to go to uh, save object as and let's call it gears Overwrite that. Set object to layout. So here we are. We've got our two gears. Let's go to Y for rotate. I'm going to turn off these two so we can see it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, and give us 360 degrees. Zero degrees here is 360. And I'm going to enter that value for frame 60. So now this rotates like such. And now what I want to do is zoom in a little bit here. Let's go to the graph editor and let's sort of shrink this a bit. Let's bring this in here in okay, case so we can see what we're doing. And now what I want to do is create an expression here, a new one, and I'm going to call um, rotate, get rid of the value there. And I want this expression to follow basically the bank of the large gear. So I'm going to go append to expression, and uh, that's, uh, that's it. That's the, that's the actual expression that describes this rotation around the, the uh, Z on the bank here. So now what I want to do is uh, just pick the smaller gear and I'm going to throw it shift uh, G and now the smaller gears uh, uh, channels are in the uh, channel bin here. I'm going to click on the, its bank and I'm going to go over here and apply. So now there's a little bullet here indicating this is an expression attached to it and in the expression tab we can see that this expression now has one channel attached to it. So now when I go in here and I scrub through the gears are out rotating the opposite direction which is or the same direction actually but 
which means it's incorrect because they're, we're talking about grinding gears here. So what I'm going to do is just go right in front of this whole expression right here, click in there, and put a minus sign. And the validate button didn't come up, so we're good. And then let's scrub through this. Okay, so we can get those to rotate now uh, the opposite way is the correct way. And uh, let's see. We can temporarily disable this one. Let's move this, let's move this guy over with the move command a little bit. Okay, put it there. Let's see what direction he's rotating in. Okay, that way. Keep him there. Turn it back on. Okay. Now we can see that. The larger gear, the gears are passing through the smaller gear. So we got our directions correct, so now we have to do uh, another little function here. We need to take the, um, the since the, the smaller gear is half the size of the other one, <clears throat> we need to speed it up twice as much. So we need to go times two. Let's see what this does. Okay, so this is working for us. Now we got the gears are going the exact, the exact same or the the right speed compared to each other. And this is what's nice about being able to do this stuff interactively. We can actually be have our animation running and still be able to go in here and adjust those values while it's while it's running. So I'm going to save this, save scene as. Uh, let's see, I'll call it Gears Revision 1. Okay, so we've got that. And uh, we should be able to, like I said, just sort of move through that and you can see These gears. I would just say load this scene file and just check it out. You can see what it's doing and just take a look at the expression attached to it. Now one thing that's kind of nice too, let me hit the tab key to get rid of the, temporarily get rid of the graph editor. I can go into here, items add, and I say clone current item. And let's say let's give it uh, three clones. So let's go to the first clone right here. Now I can, in order to, if I, I want to move this with all its motions without having to keyframe it, so let's go over here to move path. I have motions, move path. Let's go to the next gear. Same thing, move path. Let's move it down here. Next one, move path. Okay. And now look what we've got. We've got a complicated piece of machinery. So that same expression was cloned with those. So we can definitely um, do some neat things with this. As you can see, So I'm going to save this scene, save scene as, I'm going to call it Gears Revision 2. So just go ahead and load these in and take a look at those. And again, the expression on that is very simple, but it's, it's important if you don't really know what you're doing mathematics-wise, 
is to kind of experiment, try something on, on, on something simple, and also, um, let's see, and not just that, but uh, not just on something simple, but there are internet sites where you can uh, look up different formulas and stuff. And it's good to have those bookmarks so that if you do need uh, some sort of reference, that you can go down, that you can you can go and look that up, and uh, put in the proper formulas. But in this case, it's it's it is very very simple. There wasn't hardly any math involved, but it's neat that we can uh, do simple things like this uh, pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and stop this right now, and this scene is saved. I'll say load it up and, and take a look at it.